Hey guys, welcome into the Poker Reborn channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series. This is the top five famed weapons of the week. Now, I did have a few submissions all together, enough to do a top five and then a little extra. However, anybody going forward, if you'd like to submit a weapon, there are different criteria on how to do that and where to do that. In the description below, you can check that out and get all the information that you need to be in next week's contest. However, as we go forward, I'm going to get an influx of weapons shown to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a heads up in the following week as to what weapon in particular you need to have named. For instance, if it is a one-handed axe, I might say, okay, this week's top five is one-handed axe, or maybe we'll do multiples. But uh, just something to think about going forward. Without further ado, let's get on to honorable mention. So the first honorable mention, granted this is armor, this is a weapons different deal. I said that I'd put this in there because I was very, very, very impressed. I, armor to me has such a range and there's so many different types. And this in particular, Juiced Crown Takers Reinforced Mail. My goodness, I'd love to slap that on me and then jump into a pool. It's so light at 8 fatigue and when you're talking about 200 baseline freaking armor or durability, however you want to say it, is fantastic and then of course he threw the pelt on there I can't say enough I mean for your nimble build this this freaking armor is lights out one of the best you're gonna get so if not the best it is it is truly fantastic so I just want to throw it out there thank you Zargi for that submission before diving in however I do want to give a shout out to flashlight boy uh, for his submission of the two-handed pole mace as you can see on the screen I am gonna have it where it shows the the variables of the weapon itself this magnificent weapon banger of the stars that's nasty but it definitely fits the south this weapon is still amazing it was hard for me not to put it in but at the same time that's what she said so looking at the screen though you'll see it actually gained a 10 percent extra on effective against armor now this is very important depending on how you play your how you play the game itself are you trying to destroy armor or are you trying to get into the health and actually kill them some people use backline for support other people just care about thrash 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 and possibly knock them out again banger of the stars it really does fit in context with that number five so number five is Sir Gristler's Chopper. Now this thing is sick. I will, before I dive into it though, I do want to give a shout out to Sozanek uh, for showing me this weapon at least, letting me present this one. This thing barely squeaked in, but it made it uh, by the hair of its nuts. Uh, essentially this, the damage is the biggest thing that makes this weapon. If you take out the damage being influxed, it wouldn't be that great of a weapon. Just because the only other influx is through the shield damage going from 16 to 22. We all are looking for that ignore armor. We're all looking for that armor, our effectiveness against armor. But where this thing truly excels is through the damage itself. 44 to 70. Guys, if you don't already know this, the fighting axe is 35 to 55. So when this thing hits something, it is going to, oh, it's going to chop into it. It's going to meet, love it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. The point is, is that it's sick. It's nasty, and it's going to make someone's head fly. Uh, the chopping motion going down, anytime you do hit that headshot, you're going to get a bit of a bonus on top of that. It's a sweet weapon. I got to give it credit, especially in a duelist form. Very good. Thanks for showing me this one. Let's get on to the next one. Number four. Number four, Rod of Fire of the Desert. Terrible name, awesome weapon. If it was up to me, it'd be Fire Rod of the, of the Forest. I almost said of the Desert. That makes more sense. Nonetheless, thank you, Captain Toad, for this weapon being submitted. This is a sweet, sweet weapon. Because really, where you're getting your, your boost and damage is coming through the ignoring armor. And on top of that, it also has a 14% extra chance to hit every single time you fire this bad boy. Now, as of right now, fast adaptation with this weapon is a little bit broken. Uh, and usually, every time you shoot, you, you get a 10% chance to hit. So on top of that, really, you're looking at 24% overall chance to hit almost every single turn. Holy freaking fuzz nuts, fat cows sucking on a freaking teat. I'm just telling you right now, that is awesome because the more you can get into your opponent the better this weapon gets now if that wasn't enough for you the name of the game with this weapon is getting into the hit points when you get into the hit points you hit that morale check especially because when you're hitting that uh when you're hitting into the hit points with fearsome 
it is devastating and this thing definitely fits that category the only thing i wish for to see of this is how high can we get out of that damage nonetheless this weapon has to make the list because it's so hard to find a freaking firearm weapon in general uh that is named you I mean you're talking bows and crossbows and so on this this weapon falls in that category congratulations on this beautiful find definitely deserving of number four number three okay number three oh my god magnificent earth shaker this thing's gonna make your freaking gut shake okay you're gonna have issues for days watching this bad boy now when you swing this thing it's gonna obliterate the competition now here's the deal while it is at number three some people might say how the hell is that bad boy at number three well would you believe me if i told you there's a little bit better out there not to say this is bad if you see this weapon you freaking put your crowns on the table and you spit in the guy's face and then you put a few more crowns because you spit in the guy's face i'm just telling you this thing is sweet now let's talk about it a little bit oh wait real quick uh lira lira willora i'm not sure how to say the name either way awesome guy uh, thanks for your submission. Nonetheless, the base damage itself, 88 to 111. What we're really talking about here is the jump from 75, 75 to 95, all the way up to 88 to 111. Guys, that's that's like astronomical in this game. That damage is succulent. This thing ignores the armor baseline at 50%. Now, understand there's a fluctuation there. It's not that you get that every time. However, the possibility of 125 effectiveness against armor is nasty. Absolutely sick. And this thing already has the damage to back it up. Now, all the other stats granted are the same. Shield damage, which not the end of the world. Uh, max fatigue, 16. Again, not the end of the world. But where we're really starting to get into the nitty gritty of this weapon beyond the actual damage is the fact that you're not building up a lot of fatigue. Now, if we're just using this thing base off, based and we're giving it to a brother who doesn't have a lot of fatigue and you need to save that again a weapon like this being swung 10 times is saving you 30 per 30 fatigue through a course of 10 swings that is nuts guys i can't say it enough that 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 metric is so sick and so again magnificent earth shaker bullcrap that thing is better than that it needs it needs to be like astronomical butt shaking business baby boy I'm, i don't know what the hell i'm talking about that's nasty moving on to number two number two all right guys so the number two spot here is a pole hammer this thing is n -n 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 nuts it's nuts okay sir wenzel's gate crusher thank you ballin for ballin for how you however you say ballin for now nah, nah. You can see it on the screen. Nonetheless, guys, I gotta defend this weapon against the last one. Granted, the last one was fantastic, but we gotta get out of the mindset of being just purely on the front line. Otherwise, it would always beat out every weapon. This thing, if we're talking about somebody on the back line who specializes in hammers and is meant to take out to target the best of the best, I'm talking like the ratchet guys just walked in here. This thing takes two shots and you're taking out the armor on that bad boy, or at least knocking it down to uh, a third or less it's absolutely bonkers so let's go into actually the stats and what has changed in this thing the baseline damage for the normal pole hammer is 50 to 75 this thing effectively is hitting almost the top end of the jump for this weapon at 65 to 98 it eating through anybody with that type of damage is sick off the back line a lot of people use the back line for causing massive damage and other people use it for taking out shields, taking out armor. This thing gets the best of those both worlds, however you want to build him. Now, the next big jump is talking about the effectiveness against armor. The effectiveness against armor baseline is 185%. This thing effectively goes to 213. You add the mastery on top of that and good sweet baby muck. Oh my god, I'm getting, whoo, I need to take a break. Let me tell you, this thing is going to perfectly fit the guy in the back line meant for taking armor out and even if you don't want to take the armor out the thing's pure damage is going to absolutely devastate because the pole mace or i'm sorry the pole hammer in rather has a already 50 percent chance of ignoring armor it's amazing it's absolutely amazing perfectly deserving of number two thanks for this submission so so good so good and finally coming in at number one and i'm gonna say it funny number one 
the number one, Lee Swagster. Thank you so much for this one. If we want to go back to the maces and talk about God tier of maces, this mother hummer calls the shots here. And speaking of calling shots, this is a terrible name for a weapon, trusty cudgel. That's it. I'll tell you this much, it ain't wrong about being trusty. This thing massively, massively uh, eats the, the, the top end of the damage here. I mean, look at the main damage. You're talking 95 to 121, the base of this weapon, the baseline of this weapon. 75 to 95. That means that it doesn't matter. If this thing connects with anything, you're getting the baseline of 95, the high end of the basic two-handed freaking mace. I I can't like, I don't even know what to really say about it. I mean, it's just literally, if you get hit by this, you you better have freaking called Davcool. Davcool is just like standing around this mace. He's in, he is literally sucked, siphoned into the freaking wood of this mace. It's absolutely absurd. I would, I would, it, listen, if you come across this weapon, you better grab her. You can't, you can't not. And if you missed out on it, you might as well exit out of the weaponsmith as fast as you can and cry yourself to sleep because you're going to need it. You're going to need some serious uh, elp therapy at the end of it all. On top of that, I know, I know I'm like raving about the damage, but the other part of this, the thing that really st stinks at the end of the day the, the bonus anywhere else would have been so nice, but it finally ends with the shield damage of 35 compared to the 26 base. It doesn't, it, I mean, for me, it's not the end of the world. I mean, you want to take out a shield because you just aren't hitting them. Put it on a brother who has 100 melee skill. This thing is going to, it's it's like Barry Bonds just picked this dang thing up and just killed everything in his, in his path. So, yeah, wow, wow, such a, wow, 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 <laughs> such a sweet stinking weapon guys thanks for coming out to the channel please hit the like subscribe thanks for all your guys submissions if you guys again want to submit a weapon throughout the week please check out the description below and follow the guidelines if you don't follow the guidelines i'll punch you in the throat I'll throat punch you so hard that i crap my pants nonetheless guys thanks for coming out and i'll see you in the next one bye